Hello, how are you doing? It's so nice to see you again. I met you at the BET Awards a few years ago. How you doing? <laughs> Real good. Nice. Huge fan. Thank you. And I also got to say I love the film. Not the film. I love the series. I'm not done yet, but I am really into it. I know it's going to be so too much of a comedy. Uh -huh. but, but, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you're enjoying it. No problem. So the first question, let's talk about the concept of the So what is it about? So the, 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 the base the, the the earth for the concept of this show is life potential and what that means to you. And we set it in a world that's surrounded by comedy, it's surrounded by fantasy, it's surrounded by um, this, mystery, this mystery and this magic of this machine that plops in this small town of middle of nowhere America and it, it asks people for information to print out what is their true potential. And the show takes us on this journey of seeing how the townspeople react to such true potential. Because it's like if you ask yourself or if you're ever asked that question in real life, for some people, they feel like they're living and fulfilling their potential. Others, not so much. So it becomes this dance of like that human experience of how we how we go on that journey and how we react to those questions. And um, again, you're going to laugh. There's some people that interpret it and take the interpretation and have these cards that send them way far left out of the stratosphere and there's some that you you feel you it tugs at your heartstrings you're like oh my gosh they're really struggling with figuring this out um and i play uh cass hubbard who is married to dusty hubbard played by crystal dowd who is amazing um he's our leading man and um the high school sweethearts and then we get just a, a a closer insight of how this machine and its effects not only affect people individually but how it's affecting a relationship a household and how that grows out to expand mm -hmm. out to the people's relationships outside the home so it's really really fun show to like explore all of these different characters and what they're going through um, and I, um hey not oh, yes yeah. is this a joke um <laughs> is it a joke to you so what'd you get oh uh just all of this <laughs> oh no no um from the morpho I've been taking pictures of people with the best potentials. So. Oh, well, I don't. I don't think that mine is photo worthy. So. Come on. <laughs> Birthday party. Joke. Oh, uh, working with Chris has been amazing. Um, it's fun because we didn't know if we would have a lot of time to build chemistry because the first time we met was, you know, virtually. Everything nowadays is virtual. So that's when we had our chemistry read. And then our first time on working, we were we were just taking photographs for the set. So we were doing like our wedding pictures and like, you know, date night and all that kind of thing. So um, <laughs> first time I met the guy, he was in his tux. I was in a wedding dress. So, you know, that oh. was kind of the vibes there on set. But he's super funny. Um, we got off really well. Like, and I think the characters that we play are so endearing and um i've heard this a couple times that they have now become cast and dust you're like now some people's favorite tv couple so i mean i guess we pulled off the chemistry um and yeah it's just been a great experience um i'm always blessed to be working and when you get to work with the likes of people who you admire their work it just makes it you know cherry on top it makes a lot of sense well before we wrap you gotta tell everybody real quick why so then to the dark pride Apple tea if you started March 29th. March 29th. 29th, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You early. Watch some watch some Ted Lasso <laughs> before you watch us. Um, you definitely want to tune into uh, the Big Door Prize starting March 29th. First of all, the first treat is you get three episodes on the first night. Uh, they're going to stream all three episodes back to back. And then one every week after that for the full 10 episode uh, series. And it's a show that kind of tonally it covers the gamut you know some people feel like it's a little sci-fi a little drama um at its at its core it is a comedy but it it has these painted brush strokes throughout and i think 
that it also is a very thought provoking show and it deals with life potential. And you're going to ask yourself a lot of questions when you watch this. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Well, thank you so much again for taking time out. I'm a huge fan again. Thank you, Aries. Have a good okay, one. So it always been there. That thing will tell you your life's potential. Where'd you get it? No idea. It just appeared like magic. You know what I got? Superstar. Well, I got dancer. Male model. Make it stop. <laughs> What's going on? Why is everybody trying to change their lives overnight? We're getting a divorce. The Morpho inspired us. What was your card? Healer. A sign to engage in self-healing. Or maybe it meant doctor is in the profession that you do every day. You asked if I was happy. Are you happy? I'm 40 years old. I have no discernible talent apart from whistling. And I've only ever been in one relationship. I don't know if I'm happy. Never had to think about it. Which was nice, actually. It's not like I really believe there's a magical machine that can tell people what they're capable of. <laughs> but literally everyone is trying it. So they got together a week ago and now they're married. That's fun. Maybe everything is not quite as it seems. That is deep. I think I have everything I ever wanted. Maybe you didn't want enough. This machine, magic or not, is reminding people our lives have more than one possible path. We have been asking where the Morpho came from, what's inside it. What we should be asking is what's inside of us. You're going to decide your own life potential. What about you, Mr. Hubbard? What are you going to be?